Welcome. So today we'll be talking about subtraction. So subtraction. What is subtraction? What's the definition of subtraction? Basically, subtraction is the differences. So let me give you an example. As about there's two cups here. The first cup and the second cup. So the first cup have three marbles, and the first, the second cup, cup have one marble. So what's the difference between this, the number of the marbles between these two cups? The answer is two. Why two? Because when we add two more marbles inside, it will be the same as the first one. As the same thing, when we remove two marbles from the first cup, it will be the same as the second marbles. That's why this is called the differences. Or in simple, we can just use 3 minus 1 that's equal to 2. So, sometimes subtraction can be confusing in the exam, especially for those who first deal with those questions. Example, something like negative 17 plus 23, or perhaps maybe 14 minus 72. Yeah, those questions that it looks complicated. So today I'll be introducing the four patterns of subtractions that you'll be doing in your exam. So sometimes you'll be may be confusing and surprised looking at those A B A B, but don't worry. A B is just numbers. And basically it means the situation where A is bigger than B. So let me look at give an example six four. So six is bigger than four. Make sense? So A minus B will be 6 minus 4. B minus A will be 4 minus 6. Negative B plus A will be negative 4 plus 6. Negative A plus B will be negative 6 plus 4. So 6 minus 4. That basically, it's simple for all of you. 6 minus 4 will be 2. But let's deal with it all with the number line. 6 minus 4. So 6 minus 4, which means move 4 backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 2. The answer is 2. 4 minus 6, start with 4 and move 6 backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 2. Negative 4 plus 6, so we start with negative 4. And plus 6 means move 6 times forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is 2. And the last one, negative 6 plus 4, so we negative 6 and move 4 times forward. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be negative 2. So just look at these questions for 5 seconds and try to figure out something special inside. Okay, if you notice, these two questions have the same answer. 2, 2. And these two questions have the same answer too. Negative 2, negative 2. So the first question is why answers are the same? And this is the second thing that's special too. If you notice, this is the first group and this is the second group. And the first and second group have a similar answer, just that this is positive answer and this is negative answer. So now the question comes, why positive and why negative? So before we explain the first why answer the same, let me just put a positive here. Positive 6 and positive 4. It is the same without putting it, but let me just explain it clearly with the symbol. So why answer are the same? If you look at here, positive 6, positive 6, negative 4, negative 4. Both of them have the same term. This is what we call as term. Term. Both of them have the same term, although the orientations are different. So we can basically say that when they have the same term, the same term, they will have the same answer, just like this one. Negative 6, negative 6, 
positive four, positive four. The places difference is okay, as long as the same term. And the second question is why positive and why negative? So just look at it here. It's here six and here is four. So which one is better, six or four, without looking at the sign? Six is bigger, right? So we will choose the big number sign at the left. So if the bigger number have a positive sign, the answer here will be positive. This is the same here. If the bigger number here have a negative sign, the answer will have a negative. So why positive, why negative? We will follow the sign of the bigger number. Okay? So let's try to discuss some questions that you can deal with it. Okay? Negative 3 plus 18. So what's the answer? Don't think about anything, just try. 18 minus 3. What's the differences? 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 and 1. So the answer will be 15. So which number is better? Bigger. 18 is bigger than 3. So we will follow the positive, which is 15. How about negative 5 plus 17? So 17 minus 5, which will be 12. Which one is bigger? 5 is, or 17 is bigger. So it will be 12. How about negative 14 plus 2? 14, 2 minus the answer is 12. So which one is bigger? The negative number is bigger. So it's negative. How about negative? How about negative 2? Uh, 25 plus 3. So just think about 25 minus 3, you need 22. And which one is bigger? 25 is bigger. So we are following the negative sign here. So it's kind of easy, right? Let's try two more. Example. Maybe we can try this. 16 minus 22. So what's the answer? So we just find the differences. 22 minus 16, it will be 6. So you put here 6. So which number is bigger? 22. So it will be negative. How about 4 minus 32? What's the answer? So just find 32 minus 4. The answer will be 28. So 28. So just put here 28. And which number is bigger? 32. So put the negative here. Negative 28. Isn't it that simple? Then let's try something with algebra. Negative 2x plus 7x. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Now we are involving x. Don't worry, the same thing. 7x minus 2x, what is the answer? 5x. So put here 5x. Which one is bigger? 7x or 2x? 7x, right? So we are following the positive. How about um, 5 minus or 5x minus 20x. So just try the same thing. 20x minus 5x, it'd be 15x. So 15x here. So which one is bigger? 20 or 5? 20, right? So we're following the negative sign. Okay, this is kind of easy, right? But let me try something that might surprise you. Let me try you as you. Negative 3x minus 7x. What's the answer? Think for about 10 seconds. Okay, so if your answer is negative 4x, mm -hmm, perhaps you are wrong. 
because these questions, if you look properly, they are not in the patterns of subtraction. Actually, the answer for this one is negative 10x. So probably you think about it, this is kind of addition, right? So what happened here? So if you notice, all of my patterns of answer, see, positive, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. It should be have one negative and also one positive, one negative and one positive. That is what we call as subtraction. So those with the same sign, negative, negative, are not under subtraction, but under addition. This we'll be discussing in few more videos, next videos. And don't forget, when although it has minus sign, but it is under addition when there's the same thing. So don't be confused with it, okay? So let's do a quick revision about this one. So subtraction usually have four patterns. When A is bigger than B, it will be A minus B, B minus A, negative B plus A, negative A plus B. This is not important, actually. The important thing is that you need to understand these two concepts. When the questions have the same term, they usually have the same answer. And sometimes when we're deciding whether we have negative answer or positive answer, you need to follow the bigger number sign. For example, this case, 18, positive 18 and negative 3. Since 18 is bigger than 3, so we are following the positive sign here. Okay? And don't remember that when there's two negative or two minus sign, it is not under subtraction, but it's under addition, which will be discussed in the future. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. Good luck and be safe.